Hey everybody, thank you for checking out the Winter Movie Draft 2017. If you'd like to play along at home, go to draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. You can play along with the prices that the bidders are going to make in this draft. Uh, and you can join the last with 100 league, where you try to spend all of your money and get the worst box office. So, one more time, that's draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. Ladies and gentlemen, I, as champion of the summer winter dry or summer oh movie draft, goodness. do hereby <laughs> proclaim the winter movie draft open. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 Winter Draft. Huzzah! Uh, we have an amazing, amazing collection of competitors to take place uh, this year. The only question on our minds is not who will bid 100 for The Last Jedi or whether someone will take 85 or 75 or 60 percent of that gross. The question is, Brian Brushwood, is this still considered the lesser league? Not anymore, man. I'll tell you what, the whole landscape has changed nowadays. You got big blockbusters coming out in the holiday season. And so we have moved to teams for the first time in the winter draft history. Joining us for the first time ever, me and you, Tom, the yes. team team champions. Team has <laughs> two movie draft champions. I, mean, uh, Tom I, I, and Brian I don't Brown. understand don't why don't we don't. It. I mean, we might as well just call ourselves the Yankees at this point, right? Just <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, but but we have many other teams also uh, with us, of course, a historical uh, member of the movie draft team, Justin Robert Young. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to know what? If you, if you guys think that I didn't notice that all of a sudden Brian Brushwood comes creeping into our happy home <laughs> and says, hey, by the way, why don't we experiment? Why don't we experiment with other partners for the winter draft? Uh, <laughs> I know what y'all were doing. So what, you want to know what I did? I went and I scoured the globe. I scoured the globe to find the best partner in movie draft history. He is fresh here to America. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you my mystery partner, El Redactor de la Policula. Oh, El Redactor de Policula. Oh, I wonder who that is. Uh, man. It's well, so South American. Uh, uh, it sounds like a real <laughs> South Am trekker. <laughs> that is a. Uh, he loves Star uh, Trek. Uh, uh, this man, is, he's been kicked out uh, of Mexico for drafting too good. Moleculas, está muy bueno. All right. Uh, what a twist. Uh, team Jury. <laughs> Friendly. Somewhere El, there is a dungeon missing its gimp. <laughs> <laughs> el hombre mal, el redactor de la película. But seriously, uh, guys, Justin sewed me into this thing. This is a real Tusk situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your English is so go. good, El Redactor. <laughs> uh, also, Justin, really. Frog Pants taking the traditional route, Scott Johnson and Brian Ibbett. Hello. Hello. We did so middling last time. We're hoping to do <laughs> less middling this time. That's right. We're here to bring the average. <laughs> well, I, I can't think of two better people. To... <laughs> <laughs> average people. Thank you very uh, much. Good. Two to nicer keep, people. To keep both the uh, the lead and the, uh, the the caboose in equal distant uh, <laughs> views on either side Our of us. Team centrists. <laughs> team front. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and Brian, with us uh, combining our forces, that meant Team DTNS uh, needed new representation. And as of today, brand new co-host of Daily Tech News Show, Ms. Sarah Lane, is picking up the mantle. Huzzah! Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, just so everyone knows, I'm uh, coming in a little blind <laughs> <laughs> to the winter movie draft, but I'm excited to be here, and it's going to be fun. We're excited to have you back, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we've thrown a lot of technology uh -huh. Sarah's way uh, <laughs> since the last time when it was voice vote. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's uh, like logins and uh, teams or whatever. I'm team. I'm team. Uh, team feline. Uh, they're they're around somewhere, but you know, there's three of us technically, okay. so they'll be advising me on all. Um, Already a rule fine. controversy. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right. uh, and of course, uh, another classic team joining us: Christy and Milango returning as Team Cord Killers, not Tom and Brian. Yeah, we we thought about changing our name from the champions to 
team the real Cord Killers, just so oh, that we could yeah. uh, start a scum. We could just be Cord Killers, like Team B, the backups. <laughs> no, 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 you guys, team. you guys have- stands for better team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have always admirably acquitted and represented our show uh, quite, quite uh, wonderfully. And so we're happy to, to, to face well, you thank again. You. Yes, it's funny that in movie draft terms, when I see the word cord killers, I'm like, oh, that's not me. <laughs> like, I, it's automatic now. I'm like, oh, that's Christy Malenga. Oh, that's uh, nice. And also returning from the summer movie draft, Patrick Delahante and Padre SJ. Woo! Woo! I need to wear my lucky movie draft shirt for this. <laughs> yeah. I feared the beard. I, I, I will say that in the summer draft, most everyone picked us to finish dead last. And Patrick, what was our mantra for the entire season? We're not last. We're not <laughs> last. You guys, you guys did really well over the summer. I mean, there was a hot minute that we thought you had the chance to take number one. Yeah, yeah. Boss, boss maybe gave us a bump, but unfortunately, Planet of the Apes laid a big fat egg. Too bad. I thought it was uh, a good yeah. movie. I'm looking forward uh -huh. to a movie draft with you in it, uh, Padre, where you can trash talk to me. <laughs> uh, you probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I probably regret that. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, without further ado, Bryce, I, I, we, all our teams are assembled. We are ready to draft. That's right. Uh, so if you're new to the draft, uh, hello. Uh, each team has gotten $100 of fake money, which they're going to use to bid on movies in an auction style. The movies have been randomized except for our first entry, which will be Star Wars uh, The Last Jedi. Uh, we are using uh, T2T2's amazing Draft Raptor system to... Uh, automate or, or to uh, electronically bid on all of these movies, uh, and so what do you say we just get into the first, uh, the first, the first movie, everybody? How about that? Yeah, yeah, do it. Our first one is it? going to be Star Wars: <laughs> The Last Jedi because it is believed to go for more than a hundred dollars. So bidding will begin in three seconds for Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and bidding has opened. Uh, Ten dollars. Damn. Team Big and Tall going out for a hundred dollars now. Frog Pants, not Frog. Frog Pants going down for ninety-nine percent of gross. So once a movie hits at a hundred, um, uh, teams can start bidding down the gross domestic gross. Wait, bidding is? Oh, I'm I'm putting in a lower bid. It's not showing up. Uh, Frog Pants. Oh is... no, that's too Me bad. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I guess it just. Oh, I guess dear. it goes to Cloverville or goes to Frog Pants. I guess is how that rule Wait. works. Wait. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait uh, a minute. What's up, Brian? Well, uh, I, I hmm. definitely attempted to bid lower than 99%, and it said my <laughs> bid was too small. Yeah, it told me bidding is just ended. Yeah. Uh, I just extended the bidding time. Okay, yeah, we've got an T2, T2. Oh, there you go. Okay, times, so now it's updated. So, so, so we're on at 98%. Tom, Tom has entered yeah. for 98%. I call shenanigans! Padre is down for 97%. <laughs> there we go. We're here we go. Here we go. Come on, 97. Coverville's at 96%. Oh, here. someone get bold, you, 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 you lily living. <laughs> yeah, always listen to the guy barking on the sidelines. He has your best yeah. interests Gosh, at heart. I, 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 I'll, I'll verbally say 70%. <laughs> Big and Tall is now, now at 93% of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Yeah, I think we're having another choke. Oh, 92, frog pants. That's right. That's still not bad. It's a lot of pussyfooting. Now big and tall now for Right, are you able to bid? I'm trying. It keeps just saying bid is too small for uh, anything. Uh, Tom is now down at one at ninety percent of Star Wars: The Last Jedi. The itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi is going to release uh, December fifteenth of this year. Uh, Frog Pants now at eighty nine percent. Last Jedi is being directed and written by Ryan Johnson, and who, by the way, didn't return to the third one. What does that tell you? Mm, he was never contracted to. Uh, That's what it tells you. True. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try refreshing and using my access code. And Tom can just take over. Oh, bidding is finished for Star Wars The Last Jedi. What? Frog I what? definitely was trying to bid more low below. It, it almost seems like <laughs> at some point you your watch that timer go down there. I mean, I, uh, this is challenging. I was I was definitely hitting 88 and hitting refresh, refresh, and, and uh, TT didn't... says make sure the bid is 100 and the percentage is in another input. Yeah, it it was. Mm. Um, hmm. I don't know what to say on that. Restart it one more time. Yeah, you should probably restart it one more time. Oh, 
uh, we're you're being granted an, another I, time extension. What's funny Tom, is I just see a time going down, but I have no fields to I enter. Mean, in. Right, yeah. go, what I'm go, saying is, you, you go, have go, a teammate go, go, named go. Tom Merritt who could vote. Go, that'd be right, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Guys, we, we should really restart it one more time. Hey, are we starting from Brady? Okay. Brian, no, 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 no. Hey, did you, did you try this? refreshing? There's no back? fields. I've refreshed many a Logan, time. Oh, uh, did you log back in after refreshing? Uh, you didn't ask me. It just refreshed. It's not ever going to ask I'm you to log in. Uh, okay. There's a login button. Oh, yeah. Also, you're not logged in. That might be a problem. You're not logged in. <laughs> There's no Brian on Team Champion. And actually, yeah, Brian's you guys Brian, are killing me. This well, is what I like. Legacy to see. podcast. Good omen. Good <laughs> omen. All right. Well, let, let's let's I'll restart it one more time. Just one more. One more time. One more time. All right. So 13 more seconds have been added uh, to the clock. Let's let's get this on down to the 70s. Uh, Tom Merritt, who is also on your team, might also be able to assist you in auction. Still in bidding for the bid too small. <laughs> It's totally gonna run out again. It's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 You oh, can. Boy. Uh, oh, so this is All right, let's go back to shouting out uh, for a second. Uh, yes, I'd say we... I... No, 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 it's the bottom one. No, no, no. That's... I mean, we need to okay. fix Brian's ability to bid. Yeah. But... That would be something oh, that needs to happen well, before sense. we go further. With all... all uh... hmm. Serious... Well, in all seriousness, yeah. Well, uh, bidding even, is... Even, uh, all uh, right, let... Uh, old, uh, uh, El Redactor de Pelicula. De, 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 de la Pelicula <laughs> says... That's that's only fair. All right, can uh, any English you hear out of him is really just me throwing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and Tom, if you guys want to take a hundred dollars for fifty percent, you can just have it right now. All right, look, uh, uh, we we think we might have seen it. Why it's not working on Brian's, but timing is ending. So can, uh, how do we feel about restarting this bid since we're going one by one percent at a time? What did anyone else have problems bidding? No. Uh, yeah. no. no. Okay. But Brian, how do you feel? I would like to bid 88%. I think I've been fairly consistent and clear I, I, on that. I think, on... think that we've, we've already restarted it twice with that goal in mind. So Brian should at least get it at 88%. There, there Okay, there, there, it is. there it is. See, so you are used to, you got the right field now, Brian? Yes. Okay. It's the one that has a percentage sign next to it. So with uh, uh, frog going on 87%. Here we go. Let's get it on down. Let's get it on down. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We got 86. We got 86. 85% for Frog Pants. Feeling alive. 85. Seven seconds left for Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Frog Pants have it at 85%. Three, two, one. Damn it! And Frog Pants are going to take uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. All right, Scott. We're done. Uh, oh. We'll see you guys uh, in the <laughs> <laughs> No, no issues now, Bri? You good? Yes. You feel I'm good in. about that? I'm good. All right. All right. Uh, there we go. Star Wars The Last Jedi has gone to Team Frog uh, Pants for 85% of revenue. Tell everybody, uh, I hope you had a good time, Scott and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Also, if you're leaving, please leave your cameras on or else Nashcom has to redo this entire overlay. <laughs> <laughs> please stay on. We'll, we'll happily take your commentary. We'll, we're not we're going anywhere. No, yeah, no, you, 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 can just, you can go. You can walk away. Just leave your camera. <laughs> 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 All right. Our next movie, our first randomly chosen movie, is going to be Stronger. Anybody, anybody know the movie Stronger? Anybody a Stronger I fan? Am. Excited about oh my god, movie. I'm so bullish I'm on Stronger. So I'm gonna give it my highest bid one dollar. Stronger is the inspiring real life story of Jeff Bauman, an ordinary man who captured the hearts and minds of the city and the world to become a symbol of hope following the infamous 2013 Boston Marathon bombing. Bidding has begun. <sighs> Team Jerry is going in for one dollar on Stronger. This is starring Jake Gyllenhaal Ooh. and Tatiana Maslany. Team Feline Big going for four. Is this our second? It's our second of that. How do I? Uh, Four for forty-eight <laughs> percent. <laughs> I'll take two hundred percent of the growth. <laughs> All right, team team feline is taken stronger for four dollars. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, like Jake Gyllenhaal's character in the movie, I don't think anyone will be walking to see that. <laughs> oh, Christ. oh boy. Zing! Wow. All righty. Our next film up for bid oh, is. Oh, wow. Coming October 2017, Suburbicon, starring Matt Damon and Julianne Moore. A home invasion rattles a quiet family town. End of description. Bidding will begin in five <laughs> seconds. This is directed by George Clooney. Bidding is opened. Mm -hmm. uh, Team Champions Whoa. is up for five now on Suburbicon. Mm, dang, boy. 
Finally, George Clooney delves into politics. Money's worth at least 10, really. Three seconds I mean, left on Suburbicon. No bit for it. Yeah, Team sure. Feline has gone in for six on Suburbicon. <laughs> I think Severus going to have all the movies. <laughs> I love watching a priest try to bamboozle people. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds, and Suburbicon has gone to Team Feline for $6. Congratulations, Team Feline. There we go. Uh, uh, Kmart Cohen Brothers. I, right. I think it was written by the Coen brothers. Uh, yeah, it is. Yep, they'll yep. have a lot of shitty movies. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't Out of Kmart. All right, our next film in the movie draft is going to be Blade Runner 2049, a young Blade Ooh. Runner's discovery ah, of a long <laughs> secret leads him on a quest to track down former Blade Runner Rich, Rick Deckard, who's been missing for 30 years. Bidding starts in three seconds. This is directed by Dennis, Dennis Villeneuve. Whoa! Feline Holy cow! What? Holy cow! Guess, oh. Feline ain't even with money on the table. Feline <laughs> with a seventy-five dollar bid out of the gate. That's incredible. You know you get a hundred total, <laughs> not a hundred per movie, right? <laughs> Bidding is ended on Blade Runner. Congratulations, Team Jeez. Feline. Wow! For seventy-five dollars. There goes that for the chat realm draft. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh. All right. Holy wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nice. That was a thing that just happened. I <laughs> can't wait for that. <laughs> El Redactor de Pelicula, you card. <laughs> wow. Our next film releases hey, October 27, 2017. It's Jigsaw. Bodies are turning up around the city, each having met a uniquely gruesome demise. As the investigation proceeds, evidence points to one man, John Kramer. But how can this be? The man known as Jigsaw has been dead <laughs> for over a decade. <laughs> Bidding begins for Jigsaw. Team Champion's up at $4. Now Team Court Killers for 5 Did you, you guys have a little thing set just to do this? There's a, there's Team like Champion's a, now at can... 6, 12 seconds nice. left. This stars Laura Van No, Vandal Brian! And I'll tell you all the secret stuff I was going to tell you. <laughs> Four <laughs> seconds left on Jigsaw. And... Bidding is end on Jigsaw. Congratulations, Team Champions, getting it for six dollars. Yeah, yeah. Good on the board. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do ninety-four dollars on uh, uh, Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Our next film releases September twenty-second, twenty seventeen. It is Kingsman: The Gold Circle. When their headquarters are destroyed and the world is held hostage, the Kingsman journey leads them to discover an allied spy organization in the U.S. Two, sec two elite secret organizations must band together to defeat. I got this, Patrick. A common enemy. <laughs> Kingsman is opening bidding. That's Court five. Killer is going for five. Big and tall Jesus for fifteen. Now Christ. Champion's going for sixteen. Now Court Killer's at twenty for Kingsman the Gold Circle. This is you people by really like movies. <laughs> Team Big and Tall now for twenty one. And twenty two for Court Killers. <laughs> Five seconds. Now Team Big and Tall at twenty three for Kingsman. Those British people and those whiskey tie-ins. Oh my gosh! And there's cowboys fighting churches. Five seconds put left for Kingsman the Golden Circle. Door. And bidding is hey, ended. Hey, we're on the board. Team Big and Tall yeah. at Kingsman the Golden <laughs> Circle movie. for twenty three dollars. Well, yeah, we have movie. <laughs> we have movie sign. <laughs> All right, our next film is coming October 20th, Geostorm. When a network of satellites designed <laughs> to control the global climate start to attack Earth, it's a race this against is the clock to twenty easy. the real threat before a worldwide <laughs> ge Geostorm you wipes out everything and everyone. This is written and directed by Dean Devlin. Champions oh opening up for $4 on Geostorm. Written and directed? <laughs> it stars Jeremy Ray Taylor and Gerard it's a, Butler. It's a Gerard Butler uh, disaster yeah. movie. Come on. Cord Killer is up at now Butler five. Joined. It's got the word Geo. It's got the word Storm. Six dollars now for Team did it. Or for Team I hear there are sharks in it. <laughs> <laughs> All shark, no NATO. Uh, six seconds left to bid on Geo Storm. Currently, it's at six dollars for Team Champions, and. Oh, a last second pull. Seven dollars for Team Court Killers. Snipe. Flourish. The tagline for Geostorm is "Some things were never meant to be controlled." Remember, guys, this is going up against Tyler Perry Boo too. <laughs> oh, oh Court Killers the is snowstorm. There's two storm movies. Oh, Redacto oh, de wow, be a lot of box office confusion. Also, uh, confusion. Uh, uh, there was a, some confusion on our original list. Uh, it's not the snowstorm. It's the snowman. The snowstorm is oh, a movie snowman. from the 70s. Oh, snowman. You're right. Never mind. All right. Our next film in the no. movie draft. We're on the board. That's 
right. Our next movie uh, is Justice League, coming out November 17, fueled by his restored faith in humanity, inspired by Superman's selfless acts. Bruce Wayne enlists help of, the help of newly found ally Diana Prince, Prince to face an even greater enemy. Bidding is begin on Justice League. Big and Tall coming out for forty dollars on Justice League. Now forty one, <laughs> fifty for Team Cord Killers. Oh wow! Fifty one for Team Champions. Uh, Justice League is directed by Zack Snyder. Seven seconds left. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> and directed by him. Uh, Cord Killers now at fifty two. Champions at fifty three. Tell you what. It was picked up by that controversy-free Joss Whedon. Yeah, no issues there. <laughs> Seven seconds left on Justice League. The current bid is fifty-three dollars for Team Champions. Always a safe bet. Holy Biggest cow! Have bid oh, Patrick! 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 You're the one that takes sixty, dude. <laughs> sixty dollars for Big and Tall. What the what, man? <laughs> oh, I'm not the Two one seconds. that types sixty. You sure you guys don't want to bid against each other one more time? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Bidding is ended on Justice League for sixty dollars. <laughs> hey, you know what? I mean, he yeah. went 15 awesome. less than Blade Runner, so... We should restart it one more time to let Patrick... <laughs> <laughs> I can't let Padre out be... Uh -oh. oh, geez. <laughs> All right, we'll do a recap after this next movie. Coming September 22nd, it's Battle of the Sexes. This is the true story of the 1973 tennis match between world number one Billie Jean King and ex-champ and serial hustler Bobby Riggs. It stars Emma Stone and Steve Carell. I'm a hustler, baby! Bidding begins for Nat. Bid, bid, bidding begins for Battle of the Sexes. Champions coming out on top with two dollars for Battle of the Sexes. Now three for Team Jury. Three. Let's see. Uh, eight seconds left for Battle yeah, of the Sexes. Come on. Big and tall now for four. It's got that Steve Carell. Patrick, quick! It's a family film. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it's a drama about uh, gays and tennis. <laughs> three seconds on Battle of the Sexes. To the hot button issues Dude, today. I'll for four bucks, I will four. totally take that. Are yeah, you kidding Battle me? Battle of the Sexes has gone to Big and Tall for four dollars. Uh, un unlike the last movie that you guys just bought, that's actually not terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> ten movies in. Let's take a look at the. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. We're nine movies in, but we'll take a recap now. Uh, Team Champions have ninety four dollars yet so far uh, left. They bought Jigsaw. Team Jerry has no purchases. Team Frog Pants went hundred percent on Star Wars and bought it for eighty five percent. If if I got that right. Uh, Team Feline has $15 left. They bought Stronger, Blade Runner 2049, and Suburbicon. Team Cord Killers has $93 left. They bought Geostorm. And Team Big and Tall has $13 left. They bought Kingsman, The Golden Circle, Battle of the Sexes, and Justice League. How do you guys feel so far? Almost a third away. Feel we like didn't buy Justice League. We bought another Wonder Woman movie, just FYI. I feel like Justice just, League went just, under under value. I think it could have gone yeah. for more, actually. We were actually ready to go 70. More, but... Yeah. Wait, yeah, I had that movie picked number two. 70 what? We were going to go 72 for that. Why? Be, well, because I mean, it's the strength of Wonder Woman, honestly. Uh, Everything else is crap. $700 million. Well, you know. It's going to make money. All I know is that in the last draft, someone was making fun of Boss Baby. So, <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. All that I'm is saying is that Superman's dead. Because I <laughs> listed it, and it said Henry Cavill was in it, but that can't be true, man. He's he died in that other movie. <laughs> Remember that other movie that left a good taste in everybody's mouth, where they rushed the uh, storyline for the highest-grossing comic book series of all time, and they jammed it into the final ten minutes of a movie that people were already aggravated with. Yeah, I know. And the thing about that is that because of that that horrible misstep, no one saw the movie, and it made no money. I mean, I wonder if Aquaman's mom's named Martha, too. Like, maybe that'll be the whole thing. That's actually how they meet. It's a Martha convention. And, uh, she's right. actually both Martha's mother, also named Martha. Devin Wolf's mom is like, what? Huh? Why did you say that name? Beep, pop, boop, alien. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time for our 10th movie. Does anyone remember what just happened? Madame Martha. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, the only thing that was of any uh, worth buying was uh, the Steve Carell movie, and that went for about what it should. All right. All right. Our 10th movie is going to be Flatliners, coming out September 29. Five medical students obsessed with what lies beyond the confines of life embark on a daring experiment. By stopping their hearts, 
uh, and each triggering a near-death experience, giving them a first-hand account of the afterlife. Bidding has begun for Flatliners. Team Jerry coming out on top with $4. Did you realize that the original movie has a uh, rotten Rotten Tomatoes rating? No kidding. Really? I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> so there is an original movie. I Five dollars so. now. Well, as a matter of fact, Kiefer Sutherland was in that movie, and it looks like he's got a cameo as the old professor in this one. Ah. Oh, three really? seconds left. That's cool. first appearance of Jack Bauer. Making we him saw the, the, official, the most it's official not... big star in this yeah. movie. Flatliners is done. held up. I don't know. For five dollars. Congratulations to team champions. All right, our next movie. Oh. They're both good buys. Yeah, that went cheap. Yeah. Our next movie is the October 13 release, Happy Death Day. A college student relives the day of her mother, uh, uh, the day of her murder, with both its unexceptional details and terrifying end, until she discovers her killer's identity. This is directed by Christopher Landon and written by Scott Lobdell. Features no music by Sonny and Cher. Groundhog Day. Wow. Uh, four this is a fun family dollars. movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's festive. Perfect for Dia de los Muertos. There you go. <laughs> Five seconds left for Happy Death Day. Four four dollars now is the current top bid. Five dollars now for Team Jerry. There we go. Ten seconds. This is starring Jessica Roth, Israel Broussard, and Ruby Modine. Modine? Oh, I like those three. It's names. definitely worth five. Three seconds left for Happy Death Day. <laughs> Sorry, and I needed a Groundhog sold. Day movie. My slate. Fair point. We love them Groundhog Day movies over here. All right, our next film <laughs> is the November 17 release, Wonder, based on the New York Times bestseller Wonder, tells the incredibly inspiring and heartwarming tale of August Pullman, a boy with facial differences, who enters fifth grade attending a mainstream elementary school for the first time. Bidding begins on Wonder. Wonder if this movie will make any money. Wow. wow. <laughs> Different face. Wow. Hercules is on top for four <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> Do you wow. think? I mean, like, what are you doing with that face? Wow. Five dollars to <laughs> champion. Owen Wilson is the one with the facial deformity. Yeah, I know. It's nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. Five seconds left for Wonder. Now Team Jury at oh. $6. Nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, he's been easy. Wow. Six there. seconds. There. Six seconds. Six seconds. Ooh. Second Wonder. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Oh. And uh, bidding uh, ends. Oh, oh seven dollars. Oh, wonder for Team <laughs> Wow! Wow! <laughs> team Cord Killers with seven dollars for Wonder going once, twice, and sold to Team Cord Killers. That was actually a best-selling book, so it might do okay. As it says, a small, a small uh, well, one. It's, it's not a bad price to pay for that. Yeah. 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 Stars people may see it thinking it's a Wonder Woman sequel. <laughs> or that. <laughs> That'll work too. <laughs> wow, this isn't about the Wonder Woman at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, it does have someone named Martha in it. Our next, yeah. our next film. Is, our next film is a Christmas release, The Greatest Showman, inspired by the imagination of P.T. Barnum. The Greatest Showman is an original musical that celebrates the birth of show business and tells of a visionary who rose from nothing to create a spectacle that became a worldwide sensation. This is directed by Michael Gracie. Starts you, Jackman. Bidding has begun for the greatest showman. Four dollars for Team Jury. The greatest showman, not $5. great showman, not no. good showman. Greatest, <laughs> not not the greatest snowman. <laughs> not the greatest <laughs> snowstorm. Five seconds not left for the greatest storm. showman. Not the greatest showman. Bidding tall have it for five. <laughs> the champions are up for six. I mean, come on. Seven people. seconds left for the greatest showman. Remember That's to spend it? this money. Guys, you got money for the greatest showman on Earth. <laughs> Way higher than that. And oh, Team Bigental now with seven dollars. Yeah, come on, Hugh Jackman. He always makes great decisions when they're not Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> can't say Hugh Jackman. Can't say huge. Uh, Hugh Jackman's Hugh Jackman, also uh, co-starring Zac Efron. <laughs> Dude, Prestige was good. So was that other one. Eight dollars now for really Team good. Champion. He is dressed about Les Mis Rob. It does look like a sequel to the Prestige. Oh, that. Team Court oh. Killers now at nine. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm just going to say that all now. Oh. I'm P.G. Barnum. <laughs> hey, lady, bro, a beard. I'm P.G. I'm a huge Hackman. Actual last line of the preview. <laughs> the greatest showman has gone to show business. Team Cord Killers for $9. Congratulations. Show business. Oh, wait, wait. I don't 
What was the line? <laughs> line? Never, never heard of it. Oh, never heard of it. That's because I just invented it. <laughs> but now he's uh, SJW. Hooray! God. <laughs> All right, our next film comes out November 10, 2017. Murder on the Orient Express. A lavish train ride unfolds into a stylish and suspenseful mystery. From the novel by Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express tells of 13 stranded strangers and one man's race to solve the puzzle before the murderer strikes again. This is starring Johnny Depp and Michelle Pfeiffer. Opening Real question, does tickets. Johnny Depp play a pirate or should I stay away from this movie? No, it's, it's Johnny Depp as Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Team Feline now with $10 for Murder on the Orient Express. I'm telling you, there's weird buzz about this movie. Yeah, it's got a weird look. It's kind of... Yeah, there's a That's lot of buzz That's why he's bidding 11, right? 11 now for, for Team 12. Champions. People Scott, love I heard... Agatha Christie. Like, Agatha, like, people talk a lot about Agatha Christie these days. Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, can can we listen, sell Star Wars back and buy this one instead? Three <laughs> seconds left for murder. I heard a room full of 15 and uh, to 17-year-olds rave about how they can't wait to see this. I don't really? know why. <laughs> That's, no. the big, That's the big uh, movie ticket buying group right there. No. Yeah. All right. Telling you. Where you guys want to go? Get out of the house. It's Saturday night. Okay, I'll go to a movie with my friends. I'm telling you, this movie's going to be big. It's rated hard R, though. <laughs> it's hard R. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's hard R. I haven't heard that in a while. I'm not touching that either. Shit, shit gets wild like a Tez, Ted Cruz Twitter. Like. <laughs> Our next not film. get political. Our next, film, <laughs> our next film comes out October 6th. My Little po Pony, the movie. A dark <laughs> force. Pony. Not get political, okay? <laughs> <laughs> a dark force threatens Ponyville in the main, the main six. Oh, God. Embark uh, on an unforgettable uh. journey beyond Equestria. Beating has begun for My Little Pony. Team Feline coming out on the opening top for $5. Hey, big Patrick. Team six for Big Hall. <laughs> Bronies. I this, yeah, this movie is going to be huge while the kids are in school. I want to just I want to go in and just see the audience when uh, during school hours. Night. Yeah. <laughs> Five seconds left. Well, you on mean my like little the guys in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say they were creepy. Oh, so <laughs> My Sorry, Little Pony yes. <laughs> for nine dollars to Team Feline. Congratulations. Not saying they're creepy, but they're creepy. <laughs> Our next film. Be nice. <laughs> Our next film, September 22nd, 2017. The, Le the Lego Ninjago movie. The six young ninjas Lloyd, Jay, Kai, Cole, Zane, and Nya are tasked with defending their island home called Ninjago. By night, they're gifted warriors using their... I'm not going to read that whole thing. <laughs> it's it Lego, it's clip. Ninjago. You get it. 13, now 15, the team champions for Ninjago. When are they going to make a buy on? Wait, I'm sorry. Movie? Did you say December 22nd? No, I said September. Oh, September. Got it. Well, three seconds yeah, left. Can I change my bid? It's a Lego movie, folks. <laughs> this is... mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, that's a deal. That's a deal. Absolutely. Wow. No kidding. Yeah. Champions. 15. That's easily uh, 100, 120. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's not. that's not crazy. Our next film. Mm -hmm. That's a steal. Our next film comes out December 22nd. This one is December. Pitch Perfect 3. Following their win at the World Championship, the now separated Bellas reunite for one last singing competition at an overseas USO tour, but face a group who use both instruments and voices. Oh, no! Oh, God. They're one weakness! <laughs> Bidding open $15 it's to Team... It's getting Canadian. real. Now 16 to Team Jerry. How can you guys bid so much for that movie? Seventeen to Because <laughs> it's going to make money. Because <laughs> we like winning. Oh, Blade Runner. Because <laughs> we like but winning. Who's going to watch Pitch Perfect 3? 18, uh, 19. Uh, million. What's million 100 million divided by $10? Yeah. God. Same okay. people that told me they want to see the Orient Express thing. They all want to see it. <laughs> $20. <laughs> $20 to Team Champions. Uh-oh. I think we... Uh -oh. Three seconds left. $20 going once, twice, and oh, Pitch Perfect 3 that's on a team champion. Goodbye. That's actually still a good yeah. buy. It's that, that oh, man, I got, I got all swept up in the moment. Uh, golly. <laughs> pitch Perfect? Pitch Prefect? <laughs> our next, our next yeah. film, Molly's Game, coming November 22nd. The true story of Molly Bloom an Olympic class skier who ran the world's most exclusive high stakes poker game and became an FBI agent. Wow, that this summary so goes good. somewhere. This is directed by uh, Aaron Sorkin. FBI agent. 
Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba. Two dollars, three dollars for Team Champions. We all know Idris Elba is box office gold. Dark Tower forever. Uh, uh, Aaron Moore. <laughs> <laughs> they played the trailer before Mother too. Seven seconds. This is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. Oh yeah. So they're gonna walk around a lot and talk. Team Five or Team Champions now for five dollars. Also, Kevin Costner's in it. Six dollars now for Team oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Kevin God. Costner. Yeah. Seven, that, that that so. the... Wait, what decade are we in? Seven <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> the one where we oh, still like Kevin talk, Costner. They're going to be 45 <laughs> minutes long. And sold. Molly's game has gone to oh, Team Jerry for six dollars. Oh, my God. I'm so psyched. We have horror movie Groundhog Day. And walk and talk a palooza. First time. <laughs> uh, Our next film stars Tom Cruise and is American Made. A pilot lands work for the CIA and as a drug runner in the South during the 1980s. Wait, isn't this Narcos? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. is this Narcos? It's actually the real one of the other real stories behind Narcos. Oh, okay. This is directed by Doug Lyman, written by Gary Spinelli. Opening bid for. American Made now is at Big and Tall for five dollars. Team Jerry up at six. Made uh, fifty billion overseas already too. Wait, now this oh. is not M A I D. No, this is M A D E. Uh, five seconds left for American Made. Team <laughs> Champions now seven. Team Jerry now this at eight. Has already made no money overseas. <laughs> <laughs> seven My seconds left. baby is American Made. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh, Team Champions with a sneaky bid for $9 on American Made 10 Seconds. <laughs> What's that song? <laughs> Born and raised in the USA. Oh, my oh Tom, God. that's awful. It's for... a beer commercial. Team Jerry no, oh. Oh. oh, snap, Justin. Sniping back at you. <laughs> Snipity snipe. Now, this is not an American made sniper, though. That's a different movie. <laughs> and bidding ends an American made for $10 to Team Jury. So, there. Hey, right. what? Look at those Tom Cruise receipts, baby. Yeah, those 90s receipts. The mummy made $10. <laughs> Uh, we are going to do a recap after this ne after this next movie, which is releasing December eighth, twenty seventeen, The Shape of Water, another worldly fairy tale set against the backdrop of Cold War era America, circa nineteen sixty two, in the high secure in the hidden high security government laboratory where she works lonely. Elisa is trapped in a life of isolation. Her life has changed forever when she and coworker Zelda discover a secret classified experiment. <laughs> Written and directed by Guillermo del Toro, opening da, da, is da, now da. at three dollars. Wonder twin <laughs> powers <Now four>. activate. <laughs> For big and tall. The stars it's, Doug Jones, Michael. So it's Shannon. a legend of Zelda. <laughs> In the water. Kind Four dollars. Three seconds uh, left on the shape uh, of water. Uh, wow, bidding ooh. is end. Four dollars for the shape of water. Good get. Okay. Good get. That's, yeah. good get. That's not bad, actually. Guillermo 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 del Toro. GT. GT. Oh, <laughs> GDT. Hey, it'll be classy. Does anyone remember the name of that uh, Victorian ghost movie he did? Yeah, <laughs> Ghost House or something. What was it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chips. 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 <laughs> All right, we have 10 movies left. We're going to do a quick recap of where everybody's at. Team Champions have $43 left. They have bought Le Lego Ninjago, Flatliners, J Jigsaw, Murder, and Pitch Perfect 3. Team Jerry has $79 left. They bought American Made, Happy Death Day, and Molly's Game. Team Frog Pants still have $0 because they bought Star Wars Last Jedi at 85%. <laughs> Team Feline have $6 left. Uh, they bought Stronger, Blade Runner, My Little Pony, and Suburbicon. Team Cord Killers have $77 left. They bought Geostorm, Wonder, The Greatest Showman. And Big and Tall have $9 left. They bought Kingsman, Battle of the Sexes, Justice League, and The Shape of Water. How are you guys feeling? Two-thirds in the way. Ready. Ready. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm, getting a, yeah. I'm getting a couldn't connect error on uh, Draft Raptor here. You want to? Uh -oh. oh, man, that sucks. Let's go. Probably nobody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, would, it would suck if someone was DDoSing you just to keep you from bidding. I, oh, <laughs> my God. I would not put it past <laughs> any of you <laughs> sons <laughs> of Van <Anarchy>. uh, <laughs> That would be horrible. All right, hold on. Let me let me log in real quick. T2, T2, what movies are you guys Britain excited to see left time. Go. in the rest of the list? I cannot believe that Thor has not come up yet. Correct. Thor. Our next movie is Thor. 
Nine dollars. <laughs> Any of the movies that we've seen that we've bought already that you guys actually want to go see? Nah. Uh, wow. Actually, I, I do. Kingsman. Kingsman. Okay. Yes. Happy Death Day will be the first horror movie I've gone to see on purpose. I, I will say, <laughs> of the three, I have reason to go to the theater for all of them. Yeah, I'm actually psyched about American Made. I would like to see that movie. Yeah, I actually want to see Molly's Game. I was not kidding about that. It looks just good. Just, just, just a yeah, steep pile of crap, but it will make money. <laughs> How are we looking, Brian? Uh, ready to it? go. Ready to go. You're all in? good. All, all right. good. All good. All right. We have 10 movies left. Remember, you can't. this money doesn't help you if you don't spend it. Our next <laughs> movie comes October 6th, The Mountain Between Us. Stranded after a tragic plane crash, two strangers must forge a connection to survive the extreme elements of a remote snow-covered mountain. When they realize help is not coming, they embark on a perilous journey across the wilderness, starring Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. <gasps> Dude, Ooh, box office this. gold! Idris Elba! $4 for a team. <laughs> Mountains! <laughs> Mountains! They're huge! When they accept their, when they accept their Oscar for uh, Best Picture, they're going to say, I know we didn't make any money, but this was a real labor of love. $5 to Team Feline. <laughs> this is uh, based on a novel written by Charles Martin. <laughs> it's a real labor of five dollars. Congratulations, five dollars, Sarah Lane. Ages that was a good get. So much more than five dollars, but whatever. That's great. Fantastic. You did good. Mm. Could have been six. Yeah, didn't I though? <laughs> what? What an amazing draft I've had. Yep, Blade Runner. Jeez. This wait, movie might make more than Blade Runner. And my little pony. <laughs> Ouch! You guys are so mean. I don't even know how this works. I mean, it's it's amazing that I'm even playing. Like it made no sense to me five minutes ago. Welcoming Sarah back to the family. Uh, before, before I kind of want Blade Runner to make a billion dollars just to prove Sarah right. <laughs> like, I want to do good because I. I don't know. Don't people like Blade, Blade Runner? Runner? Love Blade Runner. Are you kidding? So excited for that. I have a dollar left, so don't count me out yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, all the bidding starts at a dollar from here on out. <laughs> Honestly, spending $99 is a feat that is worth applauding. Yeah, a lot dude, of us that's hard to do. Yeah. 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 You don't want to leave money on the table in this thing. Yeah. All right, our next movie is The Foreigner, coming October 13. A humble businessman with a buried past seeks justice when his daughter is killed in an act of terrorism. <laughs> the stars Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan, directed by Martin Campbell. The Foreigner is up for sale now. Five dollars. <laughs> I got double vision. Five dollars. I've been waiting. Five seconds oh, left on the foreigner. <laughs> You're as cheap as ice. <laughs> Not willing to sacrifice your dough. Five seconds. <laughs> Team Champions now. Six dollars. <laughs> now that's not bad. Seven dollars a Team Jury. Ten seconds on the foreigner. Wow. <laughs> Seen it before. Happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you bid too much, left the movie behind. The foreigner has gone to Team Jerry for $7. <laughs> serious, serious yacht rock in here today. <laughs> Apparently the stars... Oh, they were arena rock, man. They were at yacht rock. Yeah, they, that Chris they, Cross they, is yacht rock. They kind of became... Hollow Notes are yacht rock. Yeah. <laughs> are Hollow Notes really yacht rock? Yes. How on earth has Thor Ragnarok no, not showed I up I don't yet? know. Uh, I Random Sarah, order. they're not. I think last time, what was the big movie that took forever to come? It was it was another it was another big Marvel one, right? There are always big right? movies yeah. that take a while. Civil War. Civil War was the last movie. Yeah, this makes see. This is why I think going the HX HSX ranking helps out. But I don't know. There could there could be drama with a lot of people saving up for the very. I mean, last that's movie that's movie. that's part of what's it. happening right now, right? right? Yeah. I see a yeah. big face off <laughs> between Justin and, and Cord Killers on Thor Ragnarok. Okay, well you've been waiting for it. Our next movie coming out December eighth is. The disaster artist, a behind the scenes looking at making those episodes the room. I about this one. Damn it. Darn it. It's directed by James Franco, one stars dollar. Allison Brie, Zach Efron, and James Franco. Bidding is open for the disaster artist. Nine dollars. cow. To Team Big and Tall. Uh, Try to make sure you spend all your money, huh? Yep. <laughs> at, at this point, five dollars for us is the same as nine. So let's go. <laughs> Of course, this is based off the hit. Yeah, we got another wow. movie. Nine dollars to Team Big and Tall, finishing out and their the, cash And the reserve. swoosh, hundred spent. Congratulations. And we got six movies. Our next eh. <laughs> two, really? Oh, wait, no, five movies. I look at yeah, five. Ah, we have six movies and forty-three dollars left. 
<laughs> yeah, but we have Justice League. And Kingsman. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. 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 And Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, that's a... That, and Shape of Water. That's, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to our next movie. Yeah, our next movie coming November 10th is Daddy's Home 2. Brad and Dusty must deal with their intrusive fathers during the holidays. End of summary on IMDb. Daddy's Home 2. Opening in three seconds. I hear that Del Toro actually worked on this as well. <laughs> Daddy's Home 2. $12 uh, for Team Champion. They wow. ate at Del Taco, is what you heard. Like, who is Beautiful. going to see Daddy's Home 2? It was written and directed by Sean Anders. Anders. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Christy, you, you know that if you don't use up all your money, you don't, like, get it. I know. At the end. Right? $14 know. to Team Champions. <laughs> Six seconds left I for understand. Daddy's Home, too. This has got uh, Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> Mel Gibson, Will Ferrell. Will and Ferrell, folks. Will Ferrell. Team inch Jerry now up. at 15. Inch it up. Inch it up. I'd bet 25 on this if we still had cash. Team 16, or $16 to Team Champions. Uh -oh. You can tell the game's Dennis getting Hunter. serious because there's <laughs> dead air. <laughs> All right. Daddy's Home 2 is oh. sold for $16. Wow. That's a good Mel Gibson, uh, Mel Gibson said awful things about Jews, awful things about Jews and black people. <laughs> do, do the math, folks. There's <laughs> about to that what? Mel whatever. Gibson said awful things about Jews and black people and he punched his wife. What? what? Uh, He's in the movie. That Mel wasn't Gibson's a non sequitur. Mel Daddy's Home 2. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should have said that. Should have said that first. Yeah. We have uh, six movies left. John I... Cena sucks. Oh. <laughs> He's in the movie, uh, too. Six movies left, 160 bucks. What's going to happen? That's right. Mm. Well, let's see how much uh, our next movie goes for. Releasing November 1st, 2017, A Bad Mom's Christmas. A Bad Mom's Christmas follows our three underappreciated and overburdened women as they rebel against the challenges and expectations of the Super Bowl for Moms. Christmas. Oh, God. Stars Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, and Katherine Hahn. Opening bid is $13 for Team Champions. Oh, no. Nine oh, no, left. I overbid. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? No. <laughs> Damn it. You don't open at 13. Damn it. Two, one, sold. <laughs> Team Champions for $13. Wow. <laughs> so Not um, the comes down to the field. Open in November that early? Hmm. Brian, I hear that there's a booty hole in this one, too, so... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Our next film, coming October 20th, The Snowman, <clears throat> Detective <sighs> Harry Hole. <laughs> what? <laughs> Investigates <laughs> the disappearance of a woman whose pink scarf is found wrapped around an ominous-looking snowman. What? It's a real thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Soon the first snow will fall and the hunt for a killer begins. That was like garbage. Opening bid is Team Jury for $3. This is somehow brought to us by Michael Fassbender, but he's not listed as a director. Or a $4 for Team Champions. He just carried the uh, the film cans to the... To oh, the no, FedEx. okay, he's he's the star, whatever. All right, $4 to Team Champions. Wow. There's going to be so much Sold. wasted money at the end of this. this yeah. oh, $4 wow. for the star. Sorry, man. that was my bad. <laughs> Wait, uh, Bryce, can can I ask a favor? Can you make Thor Ragnarok the very last movie? <laughs> I'm unfortunately not able to do that. Our next film is coming November 3rd, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Directed by Taika Waititi, starring Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, and Kate Blanchett. It's Thor Ragnarok, y'all. Thor in space. 11. Bit 11. Cord killer, 72. And the opening, <laughs> $30 from Team Cord Killers for Thor Ragnarok. That would be an amazing price. Oh, shit. For Thor Ragnarok. Here we go. Team, team Jerry with Thor. <laughs> 33 now for Team Cord Killers. Oh, the suspense is killing me. 34 for Team Jerry. In prison. Just go up to 50. Come on. We know it's going to get Oh, you're going to make us watch one by one? 37? 38? 10 seconds. 35 dollars from Team Cord Killers. I mean, you know, I guess you guys can hold on for Coco or uh, <laughs> Jumanji. Cord Killers just do 72. It's over. Or Tyler Perry Boo 2. 
Eight seconds left now on Thor Ragnarok. $49 for Team Jury. Oh, I've never seen oh such God, a boring guy of rationality. Uh, $55 to Team Cord Killers now. Six seconds, Thor Ragnarok. 56. What? Team Jury. Why? Okay. You can't take it with you. <laughs> no. 57 to the cord killers. Someone just whispered the Twitch account. Can a hairy hole still get an infection? I think you used the whisper <laughs> function wrong. Yes. Everybody knows. Four Holy cow. Cord killers is going to take it with 57. And oh, one no, second left. Oh, wow. wow. Team yeah. cord killers wins yeah. it. Yeah. That was a steal. <laughs> very good price why, why does the number go up while bidding? The Because the, the bid amount? Bidding? Which? <laughs> The, the timer will reset after each bid, so you get extended amount of time. Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Our next film is coming November. $10. 22nd uh, from Disney Pixar. It's Coco. Aspiring Coco. musician Miguel, voice of newcomer Anthony Gonzalez, teams up with charming trickster Hector, voice of Guile Garcia Bernal, on an extraordinary journey through the land of the dead. This looks cute. This is Coco. And it's open for bids. Twenty-one dollars. <laughs> oh, oh damn it! And buying is ended because You're they cannot be beaten. Justin. Damn you, Justin! <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Justin's revenge for the next three movies. Oh my god! That's it. Kind of right, right. like this idea of nominating. <laughs> <laughs> Our next film coming October twentieth, Tyler Perry's Boo Two exclamation point and a Medea Halloween. Medea, Bam, and Hattie <laughs> venture to a haunted campground, and the group the group must literally run for their lives when monsters, goblins, and the boogeyman are unleashed. Written and directed and starred by Tyler Perry. Twenty dollars. Team Jury. Team Jury, and they take it because it cannot be beat. <laughs> All right, and our final movie, I wonder who this is going to go to, <laughs> is Jumanji opening December 20th. Four teenagers discover an old video game console and are literally drawn into the game's jungle setting, becoming the adult avatars they choose. Oh, is that a board game? Is that with kids? All right. Well, <laughs> Team Jerry has bought Jumanji, colon, Welcome to the Jungle for $31. $31. And that's the game, folks. Wow. wow. We're going to recap. Wow. 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 wow! We're gonna quickly recap. Uh, that was a hell of a finish there, Team Jury. Oh. Uh, all right, here are the team no, slates. Uh, if we could have got Thor and all that, it would have been great. Yeah, here's the problem for us is that a lot of value was at the end of the draft. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I actually don't mind any of the last three that we got. We're gonna hope. That tying them together means something, but ultimately, God damn it! I I, yeah. I, I gotta say, uh, uh, there's a reason why they're named Team Champions. Uh, uh, the bidding by uh, by Brian and Tom was exceptional, and I think that you guys put together the winning uh, the winning the winning hand there. I don't know. I feel this, like this courses is... are big and tall for sure. They're the ones that have an outside chance at coming from the outside. <laughs> So, okay, so, so to, to recap, Team Champions, we got the Lego Ninjago movie, Flatliners, The Snowman, Jigsaw, A Bad Mom's Christmas, Daddy's Home <laughs> 2, Murder on the Orient Express, and Pitch Perfect 3, a.k.a. Teenagers, The Draft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a lot of teens going to A Bad Mom's Christmas. Uh, bad team... Mom's Christmas, Bad Mom's was a, was a huge cult hit. Uh, yeah. And it is going to it is going to pick up uh, a decent check. I my worry is that our strategy would have totally worked if Team Jury hadn't been allowed to pick up Jumanji and Coco for twenty bucks. twenty bucks each. Yeah, the, uh, by by our by our uh, secret documents, those were exceptional buys on your part, Justin. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we 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 really like them too, and that's the only reason why we didn't keep running that Thor. Uh, that Thor train is as soon as we realized that we could pick up all the remaining movies. Yeah, uh, that was Smart. that was pretty much the the decision for us. Ultimately, it's like we just need some crazy overperformances here <laughs> at to uh, uh, seven hundred plus, which is really the the winning zone. So like Happy Death Day is gonna make Jack American Made really has to kind of uh, do you know uh, on the better end of average Tom Cruise. 
the Foreigner's got to be a a kind of like weird cult hit, which we were kind of relying on some of the uh, the, the the trailer numbers on that were really high. Uh, Tyler Perry's Boo to listen, uh, 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 cultural. Uh, moving on. Coco- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Molly's game's not going to make jackass, and then uh, uh, Jumanji. We're just hoping that that you know Kevin Hart plus The Rock plus franchise uh, equals uh, equals. No, no, Kevin Hart's got a scandal too. Does that bother you? No, that's good for a comedy. Yeah, right. Right. you want it when it's a yeah. You want him out there uh, apologizing for making a uh, getting a sex tape. Jeez. It was for a weird a comedy. Re- the, yeah, the, the Beaver the did really really well for Mel Gibson. Not sure I, not sure I understood that, but okay. Uh, Team to, Frog to Pants, go, how yeah. you guys feel about Star Wars: The Last Jedi? We well, feel good. We feel yeah. good. We feel good now, and we felt good forty-five minutes ago when we first got it. Eighty-five <laughs> percent is a lot. <laughs> how much did we, you guys we, get? We lose seven seven would go us about twenty million oh, really? bucks. Yeah. We figured. Yeah. So, yeah. do you think six hundred forty million is enough to win the movie <laughs> yeah. draft? Ninth, uh, Force Awakens went for nine thirty-six. Eighty-five percent of that puts us at about seven hundred ninety-five. Uh, you yeah, won that winner it? movie draft with seven twelve. I yeah. think. We, we feel pretty good about that. Yours, yours, the one to overcome. It's, it's. Uh, we're looking at you guys in the, uh, uh, in the dust. <laughs> we're looking at your dust. Yeah, we're looking so at we your dust. Right, by, right by the way, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this much. I know that two years ago, I deeply enjoyed being the guy who just pegged that eighty-five percent because it was like there was no stress, no second guessing. I knew <laughs> I was not going to be last place, and there was a decent chance I would be number one. Yeah, you guys are going to have a fun time. You're just going to kind of watch the we noise. Get to sit back and watch every week while <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sit there with our zero. Although yeah. I am, I am glad that uh, that that we all got on the same page. As far I, I apologize that I had the interface wrong trying to bid it up, mm-hmm. uh, but I but. I I knew that 88% that would have been a slam dunk win. I'm glad I I'm glad I was able to get you guys down to 85. We no. in our document we had 90 as as the lowest we'd go, but I think we well, I said, you know, I'm going as low as 85. So if you would have gone to 84, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have chased that. I, I had that feeling and I'm glad I stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, and, and and honestly, the re, you you guys were like, "Tom, you can bid for Brian." And our strategy was like, I had a hard limit and Brian's job was to was to play the game mm. and so i'm like I, I, my hard limit's 90 but brian wants to play the game so yeah. i can't say anything or it'll ruin the game <laughs> yeah but no I that was definitely a case of because... like i'm like shut up tom i, I can feel it They're, they'll go as low as 85 <laughs> and i'm sitting here like i i'm just gonna trust brian <laughs> to do this thing so here's all i'll say about uh, uh the last jedi Number one, HSX has it tracking around 752. Yep. That's crazy. Uh, so, so translate that to millions, that's $752 million, at 85% of it, that's 659.6. In an underperforming year, you guys definitely have a shot. In an average year or an overperforming year, you guys won't be able to make it if it only does that. Mm-hmm. Here's the only reason why I would say you do have to be worried. One of the things that I have looked at uh, uh, historically are uh, would I like to see it? on Rotten Tomatoes, <coughs> and The Last Jedi has fewer, uh, uh, we want to see it, than Thor and Justice League. Mm-hmm. Justice League has the highest. Thor has higher than Star Wars. Now, I don't think that that's going to mean that Thor will make more than Star Wars by any means, but I, I do think it, it is. it possibly could be indicative of uh, audiences not loving the force awakens and maybe not being as excited to see the last Jedi. There could be a little selection bias there though, given the fact that it seems like people who take the time to go to rotten tomatoes and register their interest in a movie are going to be Thor goers. Star Wars is like an accepted reality. Pete, yeah. everyone's going to go. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. So, hold on. So your, your argument is, yeah, you know, there's a lot of really, really grabby nerds that go to that site. So I can't see Star Wars being something that they be in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because everybody and their grandpa and their j- grandchild and everyone in between is seeing Star Wars and they don't give a shit about Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying I don't think it's as strong of an indicator as maybe you think. I mean, you are so you're saying that it is an accurate representation of Justice League and Thor for Batman 
Superman, Aquaman, and Thor and Loki, but not for uh, uh, Luke Skywalker. Yeah, exactly. Because guess who cares about all of those names you just named? Big time nerds. Guess who cares about Star Wars? Everybody plus the nerds. It's not worth their time. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think, uh, well, I, I think another uh, argument is that right now we are at the nadir of Last Jedi hype. All we've heard is about Lucasfilm dismissing directors. We haven't seen a new trailer. We haven't had any press conferences. As soon as they launch a new trailer, hype picks back up, and I wonder if that changes a lot of this belief and expectation. Yeah, my maybe. Uh, uh, you know, I I have always been of the mindset that it's worth it to do that strategy to get it for a reasonable amount percentage-wise because. A good Star Wars movie, a good movie that is a Star Wars movie means infinite money. Like there's, and not to say that that The Force Awakens wasn't good because I think it was good, but it wasn't like I need to knock down the doors of my neighbors and say you need to run out and see this immediately. If you like Star Wars, you had to go see it. Mm -hmm. uh, if this is really good, if this is Spider-Man: Homecoming good, it's infinite money. Yeah. Uh, Team yeah. Feline, uh, as, as we're going down the list here, Team Feline's got Stronger, Blade Runner 2049, My Little Pony, the, mu the movie, The Mountain Between Us, and Suburbicon. How do you feel about your, your lineup, Sarah? Uh, I mean, I like obviously messed up really bad at the beginning because uh, I meant to do seven and I did 75. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but, but I also feel like, you know what? That's just the way it is. <laughs> See how it goes. Oh, why? I I didn't know that that was a mistake. I mean, we we've definitely restarted stuff in the past for people who are are coming back. I didn't know that that was a mistake. Well, it's okay. Oh. I just wanted to like play it off, like I'm meant to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Long game. Like you guys don't even know that's a strategy here. And it's like, man, like, you guys don't understand. Going. Blade Runner fever, catch it. <laughs> Uh, Cord Killers, you guys have got uh, The Greatest Showman, Wonder, Geostorm, and Thor Ragnarok. How are you guys feeling? Yes. I was a bit bossier this time because I have been accused, most specifically by one Tom Merritt, of not speaking up enough in the draft. So I just spent most of the draft texting Malongo the words Thor and Ragnarok. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You guys, what do you guys have Thor Ragnarok going for? If you were to take a guess on, on what that was going to make, what would you say? I'll defer I mean, to Malongo. Yeah, I was just going by the uh, HSX uh, stuff, and I, I forget what it had it at, but it was a it was a pretty decent number. Like when I when I did my order, I think I had Thor at number three. So the only problem with Thor that I'm worried about is it has two weeks until uh, freaking Justice League comes out, and then we're going up against two comedies. So it's just I mean. An, yeah, well, and, and it looks comic like book people. Thor Ragnarok is trying to be a comedy too, right? Like if like yeah, I can see that, where Justice yeah. League does not meet a comedy expectation for people who want something kind of more Guardians like, yeah. right? Which could uh, I don't know. I, I think, but but, but again, like, like Thor Ragnarok feels comedy. and the color palette looks very much like a Guardians of the Galaxy comedy right. jam. Yeah, 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 which I love so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if it's more Guardians than Store the or Thor the Dark World or whatever the 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 second movie was, then you guys will be great with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it, 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 it's Guardians color palette if you cross faded it with the Brazilian flag, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but so HSX has that at two hundred. That would certainly be an overperformance on the previous Thor movie. Uh, but the question is, how close between a Thor movie and an Avengers movie will this be? And the, the, the closer you get to mid-range, the better, the happier you are. Yeah, there yeah. were some people online that were overestimating Thor, and so I had my average at like two sixty-nine, and I don't, I don't think it's going to hit that. Hey, you want to what? Shut my, shut the front door. Thor: The Dark World made two hundred and six, so uh, I would not be shocked if this if this went above what it's trading at on HSX. But if you mix mm -hmm. it as like a Thor and Hulk collaboration, that's right? the thing. Yeah. This two is secretly Hulk is the real is going to be the star. It is right. gonna, Hulk is going to be what everybody talks about, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the Hulk movies didn't haven't done nearly as well as the other Marvel. Well, cinematic yes, but universe. but it's also none of they were all joyless and dead on the inside. Whereas this right. is going to be the best <laughs> Hulk thing we've ever seen. Right. Right. 
There's Both like of, the Kate Blanchett character too. There's like a whole new yeah. thing being evolved yeah. in the movie. I mean, even so. Doctor Strange did 235. So I yeah. think I think uh, Ragnarok's going to do really well. Okay, guys, I tallied up what uh, the places would be if HSX when nailed everything here. across the board. Oh, well, that's what I was ooh. been doing too. What'd you get? Is it first? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? I'm not done. Hold on, real, real quick. Before, right? before you reveal, before you reveal, let's let's get a let's get a read from Big and Tall on how you feel about your slate. Yeah, they got King of the Golden Sexes, Circle, Justice Battle. League, Disaster Artist, Shape of Water. We're not going to be last. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Really all we want. That's, that's, that's what we got. That's what we got. No, but actually, the the big thing was we got we messed ourselves up last time. Because of schedule, we had our two of our big ten poles right next to each other, and they just cannibalized uh, the, their businesses. Mm-hmm. We've got Justice League, and it's basically going to rule all the way through Thanksgiving. That's that's not bad. I, that gives it a lot of soap time. When I think the Disaster Artist has a lot of like wild card potential, like I think the I, room is I, so. No, it's going to be a disaster. Nobody's going to see it. They don't know <laughs> the room. Tiny. That's the thing. Tiny. So, no. It's it's got it, it's already been getting kind of buzz and James mm-hmm. Franco is enough of a star that this and A twenty four is the kind of uh, a distributor that if it does well in the art houses they will push it as this like, avant garde uh, Oscar thing that you have to see. Well, we're still looking at just like twenty five million max. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Now this Kingsman movie is that the second movie in this series yeah like yeah. there is yeah. so much heat on that first kingsman movie that that the this golden circle will i i have to imagine will have to be huge right yeah, yeah i'll just I'll james say bond this. for millennials is what it is yeah it is i was supposed to go see a free screening of that today and it was sold out oh, no. for the free screening oh. <laughs> well, yeah so i'm pretty sure that it's going to do well uh, all right. And we're we're, we're going to get at least three hundred million out of Battle of the Sexes, so I, I'm not. Really <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, I misplaced the decimal point. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Patrick. Three dollars. <laughs> now, Brett, all you right, said you had the go. lineup. Here, Brett, uh, go ahead and do it uh, uh, from from least to, uh, to to best. Here, this this is if HSX uh, correctly, if the price of each movie translated to a million dollars per dollar. This is, uh, these are these are the the, the winners here. Uh, so if that were all true, then we would have Team Feline bringing up the rear with a very good showing. Little little uh, cats knew what they were doing. No big deal. <laughs> uh, team Cord Killer would be next with three hundred and sixty six million. Then Team Jury in fourth with four fourteen. Boo. Team Big and Tall in third with 478. Brian and Tom just ahead of them with 502. And then a dominant showing by Team Frog Pants with 639. <sighs> Could if- be. Everything. Could be. Oh, wow. Mm. I, I have different numbers, but I have the same order. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here would be the other thing. And, and the reason why, Frog Pants, you guys should feel really good about yourselves is that this was the worst year uh, in movies in a very long time. So uh, if, if the summer is like the – or the, the winter is like the summer, then all these things are going to underperform, and the sure bets are the sure bets more so than ever. HSX is a pretty conservative site. Uh, so, like, anything that pops would change things drastically if there were any, like, surprises yeah. out there. It's really good. I like using it for the movie draft because it gives you a good relative distance between things, right? So, so you know, it, it doesn't predict surprises like you're talking about, but it tells you, like, these movies are, are worth 20% less than these movies, even if you don't hold to the million-dollar predictions. Right. Which does a little bit of a disservice to frog pants with all their <laughs> eggs in one basket. Yeah. Movie draft! But, uh, <laughs> oh, no. It's like they have a sizable lead going in. All right. Well, uh, uh, any last thoughts on, on the movie draft? I think this is a, a really a really tight showing between everybody. Brian, if it's scaring me, other than that, no. <laughs> Brian, if it's donned a wrestling mask now. <laughs> is this why you asked me if I had a lucha? <laughs> yeah, I was going to have you put yours on too. If Redactor's taking his off, I'm putting mine on. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you everybody for for joining us for the 2017 Winter Movie Draft, brought to you by Cord Killers. Uh, Yay. 
If you'd like to see more updates Yay! every week on the Winter Movie Draft, you can check out It's Spoiler in Time everyone. at CordKillers.com I mean, or the Movie Draft Minute. Special thanks to our MC. He really yeah. did a good job. Yeah. Tonight. Well done, Bryce Castillo. Christ. Thank you very much. Bryce, uh, you were uh, made thank you to, to do for a draft. Yeah, T2T2. <laughs> thank you so much for the system. Uh, and uh, I think with that, we'll see you next season. Heck yeah. Bye, right. right, buddy. Adios. Bye -bye. Peace out, dudes. Hey, everybody, thank you for checking out the Winter Movie Draft 2017. If you'd like to play along at home, go to draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. You can play along with the prices that the bidders are going to make in this draft. Uh, and you can join the Last with 100 League, where you try to spend all of your money and get the worst box office. So one more time, that's draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>